Hello guys and welcome to Odds on League and Match Day 23 after a really interesting uh, midweek games in uh, Coupe de France uh, and with PSG out of the competition again losing the classic of uh, the French football Alain Balnegri how are you How are you Edu yes it's the news it's the news today uh, PSG go out in uh, in 18 of final in, uh, in Coupe de France in a game where the, the feeling uh, was really bad, really bad about uh, Paris, especially in the perspective about the intensity of the game. Uh, Olympique Marseille was uh, really superior yeah, yesterday in the in the duel, in the impact, in the rhythm, and in the motivation. And that one, in this moment, I think Galtier must to change something because uh, there start uh, to be a lot of uh, of defeat from the the. From the the the, the Ligue 1 backup, uh, PSG, especially when they play away, they suffered uh, a lot. They suffered mm -hmm. a lot. Yeah, they suffered, huh? Yeah, yeah, under pressure, uh, Galtier, we have, of course, uh, Monaco PSG this match day. We are going to analyze it uh, in a minute. And uh, PSG, Bayern Munich the following week. So, Alain, uh, let's analyze this new match day. Remember, guys, to leave your comments, your tips, and don't forget, as always, support us. Just press the like and subscribe to our channel and the first game. We have on Friday is Nice Ajaccio. Nice, a great victory in the Velodrome, 3 uh, 1. They beat Marcel in the Derby in the south of France. Uh, they are very close now to the Champions League spots. Four victories and one draw since they were kicked out from the Coupe de France. And I guess we should expect them to beat Ajaccio, key victor, key, key defeat uh, against uh, Nantes. Uh, but when they played away for the last time, it was a victory. Of course, it was Ange, it's another thing, uh, playing in the Allianz Riviera. Yes, this is the is the team of the last uh, four uh, four journey because the the schedule was really difficult for for Nice. And uh, the results are uh, are brilliant, uh, pretty brilliant. Especially the win uh, winning in the Velodrome uh, right now is difficult. It's really difficult. And Berwan scores three goals. Nice now um, found an identity, an identity of play. They're, they're known how they wanna play. They're known uh, how they wanna. Uh, do in the in the field. I think Mofi is a really really good signing. Laborde uh, is uh, is on fire. In a very good moment. The ex uh, striker of Montpellier and uh, Ayacho um, Ayacho loses uh, his strengthness. The the solidity in defensive phase without the ball it was a, di a team difficult to move at the beginning of the season. But in the last week they lose that. They lose that and. Uh, that one is not a good news for Pantaloni, the manager of uh, Ayacho. The game uh, between Nice, between the against the the team from uh, from Kors are always always really really hot. Nice will be really motivated, and I think Nice will be scored over 1.5 goals in this game. Odds 1.19. Well, Nice, uh, they are favorites, of course, to win this game. Uh, 1.6, Ajaccio is still in relegation spots, uh, but only one point away. From Troyes, then on Saturday, the game of the games uh, in Ligue 1, we have Monaco PSG. Monaco only two points away from the Champions League spots. By the way, I, I said uh, Nice two points away from the Champions League spots. No, Nice, they are 12 points away. From the Champions League spots, Monaco. They are two points away from the third spot. Uh, they beat uh, Clermont in the last match day. Another team that is in form uh, in the last uh, seven games. Uh, five victories and two draws. And Alain, let's analyze a bit what is going on with PSG. Uh, they don't have Mbappé after the World Cup. The results are not good, especially away from home. Uh, first, let's focus, of course, in the bets and how do you see this Monaco PSG if there is uh, some optimism around PSG, if we should place our bet on PSG to win 2.3 or going for Monaco 3.2? 
Bah, historical in the history of Ligue 1, Paris Saint-Germain suffered uh, always in every period uh, Monaco. Um, I think it's one of the the baddest uh, record against a, a French team for uh, for Paris Saint Germain uh, in the in the first game this season the draw in uh, in Paris something uh, uh, notable uh, because uh, less team catch point in uh, in Parc des Princes Monaco is, is in a very good moment is in a very good moment uh, is uh, a team who is uh, uh, a direct play with a lot of impact, with a lot of uh, duel, with uh, a rhythm really high. And uh, yesterday we saw that PSG is super. When the rhythm is increased during the game, we saw a, a PSG lose major part of the duel. They concede a lot, especially in the in the first uh, half. Monaco will be prepared the, the game in the same way with rhythm, with uh, a lot of uh, pressure um, from the beginning of the, of, from the, the building of the play in, uh, in Paris Saint-Germain. And in this, at this moment, between the form of Monaco, between the form of uh, Paris, especially away, I don't see Monaco lose that game. I don't uh, see that one um, because I don't feel Paris Saint-Germain can be um, can be uh, stand up the, his level his level Ye- yesterday Neymar was back Neymar was uh, not at uh, his best uh, level without Mbappé I think Paris Saint Germain lose a lot the play without a, a striker Etiquette uh, doesn't start the the game maybe. It means Galtier doesn't believe a lot in the, the young player ex uh, Stade, Stade de Reims. The moment is, is not good. It's not good in the key moment of the season because mm. the next uh, next week uh, uh, a team called Bayern Munich can be arriving uh, in Paris. For that game, Monaco uh, winning draw no bet odds 2.10. Well, it's the story of the last season for PSG. When it comes uh, February, the team starts to go down. Uh, of course, uh, Alain, I want to ask you, how do you see the PSG Bayern Munich? Who do you see favorite? Do you see uh, Bayern Munich favorite now? Yes, Bayern Munich has something more right now. But warning, eh? Bayern Munich doesn't uh, back really well after the World Cup. We saw some games, especially the game against uh, Köln and against uh, Eintracht Frankfurt uh, at home, losing point when normally Bayern doesn't lose point. But the feeling, the second part of of Eintracht uh, against uh, Eintracht Frankfurt, we feel something miss in the physical condition, and that one in, in Champions uh, you can't concede uh, mm-hmm. that, but. That have something more in this moment, especially if Paris Saint Germain doesn't have uh, Kylian Mbappé for the first game. Well, uh, we will see what is happening with uh, PSG, with Galtier, Monaco PSG, then Bayern Munich. Uh, very interesting days uh, in the capital of France. And on Saturday, we also have. Clermont, Marcel, uh, the opposite we can say for Marcel, of course, uh, in a good moment after finally beating in their home ground uh, PSG, the rivals, but uh, they have to keep an eye also on uh, Ligue 1 because they are only two points away from the fourth uh, from Monaco. They beat, they were beaten by Nice in the last uh, match day, so they have to bounce back against Clermont, Alain. Yes, it's a it's a difficult game. It's a difficult game because we we know the 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 solidity about uh, about Clermont, but Clermont doesn't score a, a lot. If you must to search uh, a weakness about this team, is the goal is the goal score, and um, against uh, Marseille. Especially, it, it will be the ga- a game with a lot of individual uh, duel. And uh, Marseille yesterday confirmed confirm is a team with um, 
with a lot of uh, possibility in offensive uh, phases a team can be go to to pressure really high the, the opposite team uh, with a lot of success that defend uh, run forward to anticipate the rival yesterday it was a, a master class about uh, about Tudor to um, play this football really vertical with a rhythm really high and uh, we saw in the second part Marseille in the condition uh, in, the, in the physical condition is in a very good moment because you can't offer that type of football if you are not well uh, with the with the physical condition. Uh, now Clermont at home, uh, they won only against Stade Rennes from the from the end of uh, December. They have a lot of uh, of difficulties to to elaborate to finalize uh, what the team create. I I see Marseille with a. Uh, a lot of uh, things more than uh, than Clermont, especially Clermont Super, that team, that type of uh, of team. Not a team will be elaborate and um, have the ball in his half with a lot of horizontal uh, pass. No, Marseille is really vertical. They go to the to the to the net, and th- that type of team, Clermont Super, Marseille winning. The odds are not really, really, really high. I think uh, the grade of difficulty are major, but I choose not say 1.73. All right. Uh, be careful with these shots uh, because it's a tough game eh, for Marcel going to Clermont. Let's analyze the games we have on Sunday, starting with Toulouse. Ran, and this is also a very tough game for Ran. Uh, first defeat at home against uh, Lille in uh, so, so many weeks. They are risking now to go out from the European spots. Uh, They are not in a good moment. And Toulouse, Alain, they lost in the Parc de Princes, but they took the lead. They put a fight and they are in a good moment. Yes, Toulouse. Toulouse won in uh, a maturity from the beginning of the season. At the beginning, it was a... um, the classical novice arrive in his new category and uh, uh, have a lot of passion, but uh, are not um, good in the management of the emotion, management of the momentum of the the game, management the game away. And we saw uh, an improvement, a, a clearly uh, improvement in the last weeks. We have the confirmation. We had the confirmation the last week. In the in the Parc des Princes, when they deserve to uh, to catch a draw yeah, against uh, Paris Saint Germain, Rennes is in a bad moment. Uh, Rennes, from the beginning of the season, have problem away. They uh, had uh, a positive streak at home with ten consecutive victory, but the last last week they, they lose a, a game. A strange game because they have the control. They score first really soon in the game, but after the the team stop, the team stop to play. The team start to lose individual duel. They lose that uh, centimeter. Can't make the the different concede. Um, put the block uh, in uh, always uh, more uh, more less, and, and that one Lille f- felt that. Felt that, felt the difficulties, and uh, they they won they won a, a game uh, with a, a lot of personality. What they miss to start the run in this moment is the personality, the character, because the technical value are really high. Is true, Martin Terrier uh, of uh, is maybe the worst news from the beginning of the two thousand. Uh, 23 because Terrier was the, the the goal scorer about uh, about the team for who like offensive football and goals. I recommend Sunday we must watch to lose Stade de Rennes. I see goals in that game over 2.5 odds 1.80. Okay, Lorraine, they lost the first uh, home game of the season against Lorient, and then they lost the last one against uh, Lille. Uh, next game, Angers, Auxerre, the two worst teams in Ligue 1. Uh, both, they were coming from goalless draw. Angers, after 13 consecutive defeats, the goalless draw against Lorient, Auxerre, against Reims, 
they lost the previous seven games uh, in Ligue 1, so it's impossible to trust any of these teams, uh, Alain. What can I say about this game? What can I say? Uh, I am disappointed about both teams. Maybe less with Angers. Angers made a very good game in Lorient. That catch um, a draw, and it was a surprise. Um, but Auxerre, if Auxerre, the, the situation is, is really, really difficult. Uh, um, I believe uh, in Pellissier, the manager of, uh, of Auxerre, but from his signing in, uh, in Auxerre, we saw some improvement in two, three games. But yesterday we had the confirmation that have in a very bad moment. They lose at home against Rodez, team of Ligue 2 in Coupe de France, and they concede three goals. And that one is it means I think is 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 an image about the moment of the of the team. The team are in his worst moment in the moment, the key moment in the in the in the season. We remember four teams go to Ligue 2 this season. And at this moment, Angers and Auxerre are the worst team. For the tips, I was oriented to choose Angers winning because I think I have best feeling with, uh, with Angers when I, I analyze the content of the game yesterday. Angers go out of the Coupe de France in the penalty, but they lead the game during 89 minutes, but they miss something in um, the team are not confident uh, uh, in his uh, in his skills and uh, Angers uh, received a lot of goals in the last minutes from the beginning of the season and that one is is, is a symptom the team doesn't uh, believe in his health at this moment I think they have something more but is a dramatic game and normally for a dramatic game I choose the X the draw X odds 3.50 for, for the scared game about the journey. Yeah, usually it's a goalless draw when you <laughs> with uh, these uh, bad teams uh, playing together. Next game is uh, Lille Strasbourg. Uh, Strasbourg finally, finally, they won a game at home in La Meno 2 0 against uh, Montpellier. And Lille got a great victory in Ghana, as we've analyzed before. Next game is in Paris, and they are very close to the European spots now. Well, it is a team with a lot of personality, with identity clear, but uh, they had the personality. Yesterday we saw that in, in Lyon, uh, there was under the score uh, with two goals and they'll be able to draw the game and after that. They're losing the penalty, but the moment is, is good. We saw that in, uh, in Rennes, last, uh, last uh, journey, um, able to first draw the game and after won the game, uh, and they deserve, uh, when we analyze the content about uh, the, the game, in one of the fields most difficult to the Ligue 1 with, uh, with the field of Lens this, uh, this season. Uh, Strasbourg improve. Strasbourg improve when they uh, change the, the manager. I think the, the team, the feeling, uh, the, the feeling are better. The feeling are better. We saw that against uh, Montpellier. Uh, the team was uh, able to win, but the team especially was able to manage the game. And that one is uh, is key in, uh, in Ligue 1. Uh, the team was able to, uh, to have a clean sheet from the beginning of the season. Uh, it was a, a big problem, the goal conceded about uh, Strasbourg. Now for this game, I, Lille, I think they have something, uh, something more in the individual skills, in the collective uh, skills, uh, and in the classification. Lille normally at home they start really, really um, fast. His game, I choose Lille winning at the end of the first half. Odds two point zero zero. Next game, we go to Montpellier. We have uh, Montpellier-Brest, an uh, important game uh, for uh, avoiding relegation. Montpellier two points away from the relegation, exactly the same uh, as Brest. Uh, Montpellier was the team 
losing in Strasbourg and in a really bad moment, five defeats in the last six games, they only beat Osseg. Whereas uh, for Brest, uh, is the opposite. They are getting good results. They good, drew with uh, Lens, no defeats in the last five. And Montpellier is favorite, despite what I've said in the what happened in the last games. Uh, 2.4 for Montpellier to win, 3.1 for Brest to win. Yes, I'm surprised. I'm surprised because the feeling about both teams are, are, are the opposite in this uh, moment. Maybe the bookmaker watch the the first game in the season when Montpellier was uh, able to win 7-0 in uh, in Brest and this game is um, in my opinion draw the, the the season about Brest because from this game the problem starts in Brest with Zazakarian Zazakarian lose his uh, his job now, when uh, until Roy is uh, is came uh, in his bench, we saw a team really serious, and uh, the results speak about uh, about that. Uh, uh, there will be near to win to one against Lens the last uh, the last journey, and I think is the best moment for Brest right now in the in the season. Um, and, Montpellier in change is in a really bad moment because from the he is back only one one uh, one victory for for Montpellier uh, the team still concede uh, a lot of goals in uh, in Ligue 1 and with the uh, with the goal scoring that there does there 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 doesn't have um, a striker who scored 10 12 14 games who guarantees uh, your uh, your um, salvation in uh, in Ligue 1. Right now, I see Montpellier in, uh, not in crisis, but with a lot of difficulties. Maybe Sunday night, we will be speaking about a Montpellier in, uh, in crisis. I choose Brest winning X no bet, odds 2.20, because I don't see Montpellier won this game Sunday. Mm -hmm. And they are still the favorites for the bookies. Uh, next game is uh, Ram Trois. Here we have a clear favorite. Ram, of course, uh, a bit disappointing, I guess, the draw against Orsay, but the streak without a defeat now is in 14 games, whereas Trois, Alem, very close to fall into the relegation spot. So only one point in the last five games. Yesterday, they're losing to lose. Uh, Reims 3-0 in, uh, in Coupe de France and uh, when do you have that type of uh, positive streak when do you have a young team always you, you will be you will be uh, you will be lose a, a game and um, I think it, it was an accident yesterday because the team have uh, identity the team have a lot of talent uh, and the, the team in this moment uh, is one of the team I enjoy more watch in, uh, in Ligue 1 for the idea of football and for the talent they have. The, scout, uh, uh, the scouting works really, 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 really well in, uh, in Reims. We can't say the same in Troyes, a team in, uh, with City owner, um, Troyes, Try to change something with the the new manager, but the new manager suffer a lot. The the Ligue 1, is in my opinion, he doesn't understand the, the football. This type of team uh, was fighting against relegation play. You, you can't you can't arrive in Ligue 1 and try to uh, to play a. Uh, um, really offensive uh, football positional uh, play with a team are fighting against Ligue 2 is, is impossible except uh, if you have uh, if you have um, a lot of talent in the in the squad and is not the case about uh, about Troyes for this team this game I, I see goals and uh, I think the over 2.5 goals with odds 1.80 is uh, a good opportunity Yes. 
Two more games. Uh, next one is uh, Nantes Lorient. A lot of games uh, for Nantes. Uh, they are ahead in the Coupe de France in the in penalties. They won in Corsica in uh, Ajaccio in the last uh, match day. They are playing Juventus in the Europa League the following week. And in the middle of everything, they are playing against Lorient, a team that uh, is getting really bad results uh, lately. The last one, a uh, draw only against Angers. Yes, but it was Coupe de France and they uh, there won at the penalty. And for the for the moral, I think, is a, is a very good news for, for the Comboire. We saw that, uh, we said that um, not starting the, the year really well, with five, with seven clean sheet consecutive, and uh, the team is that. The team is that. The message is: Comboire, unlock your talent. Unlock your talent. Talk, take, take much more risk because you have talent in the in the uh, offensive uh, line and give some more liberty to create because. You have a player like Blas, my opinion, Blas is a brilliant player, he's a brilliant creator of uh, of play, but you don't ask him to, to defend and uh, play at 50 meters to the to the goals. Put nearest the the player. Delor, I think, is a very good signing for uh, for Nantes because Delor is the classical striker, can be be final. Uh, Finalize a, a team who play a lot from the, the wings and play a direct uh, football. In change, Lorient, Lorient is getting a little down. Is getting a little down. I think the the um, Watara and Mofi leave the club, and uh, that one can be uh, affect not can not not can but affect the the team. We saw that the last Sunday against Angers and Lorient. Don't be able to win against uh, the um, the worst team in uh, in Liga and suffer and the risk to lose this uh, this game is a derby. I think not will be really motivated. They wanna win that uh, game and they can win the game. The odds are really interesting. L not winning odds two point zero zero. Good odds uh, with Nantes uh, getting good results lately and the last game in Lyon. Lance, uh, very difficult to predict this one because uh, Lyon form is always a roller coaster. They beat uh, Troyes in the last uh, game in Ligue 1, also in, in Coupe de France. Uh, and uh, now they host uh, Lance, uh, Alain. They are dropping form recently away. They drew at uh, Brest and only one victory in the last five games when they play away. Yes, loss is not is, is the worst moment uh, for the loss, the worst streak in, uh, from the beginning of the, the season. Their lose uh, point uh, at home, <coughs> and especially away, <coughs> pardon, sorry, especially away, the when they played away, we don't see the, the, the team. We have uh, admiration from the beginning of the season. They, they lose the. Uh, uh, rhythm, they lose something in the in the physical condition, and for the 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 model of play of Lens is a key. When the team are not uh, in um, with uh, with the best uh, condition, the team lose uh, his powder, especially in the midfield and uh, in his uh, direct uh, direct attack. Now um, Lyon. Is always the the same from the beginning of the season. Lyon have a lot of potential. Lyon has uh, offensive powder, really interesting. A mix with really young uh, young guy like Cherki, Barcola, and expert uh, expert player like like uh, Alexandre Lacazette, who, who known who feel an impact in his uh, in his hurts. This game, in my opinion, will be give you. Uh, a definitive image about Lyon in the sense we must to know if Lyon can be winning against a team to the best five in uh, in Ligue 1. In this moment, against uh, a team not in his best moment of form of the season, like uh, like Lens, 
is a good opportunity. It's a good opportunity, but is the last call for Lyon to dream about uh, uh, his back in Europe. They must win the game. I see Lyon can be winning this game. I choose Lyon winning odds 2.30. Well, at least uh, Lyon also qualified to the quarterfinals of uh, Coupe de France. Uh, let's see if they are able to beat Lance in the last game we have uh, this weekend in France. Uh, Alain, let's finish the video as always with your safe bet. My safe bet is to lose Rennes over 1.5 goals, odds 1.27. And let's try Yoraka for the weekend. Nice uh, over 1.5 uh, goals. Toulouse over 2.5 goals. Lille winning at the end of the first half. And Nantes winning for a total 13.68. All right, Alain. Thank you. Let's see if uh, PSG can bounce back. Uh, remember, guys, to leave your comments in the video. Tell me your tips, for instance, for that uh, Monaco PSG. And don't forget, press the like. And subscribe to our channel. See you next week. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao.